along with me for another day of thrifting. Every time I go into the thrift store, I always start off in the purse section. I think it's because it's right as you walk into the door. This purse was the first one that I saw when I entered into the store. I really did like this one. It was a mustard color. It had a really nice seat belt or guitar strap on it. This oxblood purse, it was also genuine leather. I didn't get it because I didn't have a place for it in my wardrobe. All of the colors in the store this day were on sale except blue. Blue was not on sale. Everything else was on sale either 50 or 75% off. This purse was really nice. This Rachel Zoe. I don't think it was leather when I looked inside the tag, but um, it was a really nice tote purse. Maybe something you can use in the airport. These Steve Madden shoes I thought were really nice. They weren't my size. I actually would have purchased these if they weren't my size. I did really like the olive green color. These uh, blue satin shoes right here. Y'all, I picked these up for a young lady for um, a prom drive that um, a local pay center for girls center is having i saw so i picked those up for them to use this was a nice bcbg bag i actually ended up not getting it because when i inspected it more later on as i was walking around the store there was some pretty significant damage at the top of the strap so i just left it this was a really pretty chocolate um faux leather bag um you know this style is kind of very on trend y'all know new balance is all the rave right now i actually would have purchased these if they were in my size these New Balances were actually kind of cute. They were actually half off. They were not my size. Y'all, I wanted these sneakers so bad. I did, but they were, look how much they were, $40. I'm like, uh-uh, no, 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 no. This shirt, y'all, I don't know what happened to this shirt. I think somebody took this shirt out of my cart because I had this in my cart and I turned my back and the shirt was gone. So needless to say, I didn't get it. This is a cute little clutch purse. I loved it. It was so adorable. Only $7.99. I got that for the girl for the prom donation to go with the shoes. This was a fun little shirt. I mean, it's by the brand INC, I believe. You know, cute little red and white lip shirt if you want lips all over your chest or whatever. This Michael Kors shirt, this was cute as well. I think these types of shirts are perfect for spring and summer. This Sonoma um jacket i think that was the brand yeah sonoma this was really nice not my size now this one right here this black and white leather it was giving me chanel carl legafeld era vibes minus the tweed if you can picture that it was a very nice jacket it was genuine leather it wasn't my size otherwise i probably would have picked it up even if it was priced as high as it was y'all this right here i almost picked this up for my husband my husband has a bar in our home and I thought this would have been a good addition, but he doesn't have a lot of um, things where he needs to use to, he would use this for, so I left it because he probably wouldn't have used it anyway. As you can see, this store is pretty big. They have everything under the sun. Y'all, look at this vase. This vase was so pretty, $29.99. It's by a Poland brand. And this vase, y'all, I did look it up. It retails between on the resale market between $150 and $250. This was a nice coat. It was by the brand White House Black Market, I believe. Yes, White House Black Market. It wasn't my size. This leather skirt was a really nice color. I, I really like finding color, colored leather in the thrift store. It wasn't my size, so I didn't get it. Y'all know I don't need another leather blazer. I don't need another one. But when I see them in the store, I try to show them to y'all. Y'all, this Oscar de la Renta Genuine Leather Laser Cut Belt, $5.99. Best believe I did pick it up. I did. It was so nice. The pictures aren't doing it any justice. This vase also was really nice as well. Um, kind of regretting not getting that one because I do have a spot that would have fit in my home. Y'all, look at this leather bag. Look at it. $9.99 beautiful i didn't get it because it smelled of smoke it just it was just too heavily smelling of smoke so i didn't get it this tommy hill freaking jacket i showed my husband this he said why didn't you get that for me but needless to say i left it i'll go back this weekend to see if it's still there this was a nice leather blazer also stay tuned for the thrift haul all right y'all we are now at your favorite part of the video i know it's the thrift haul i'm going to show you all some of the items that i picked up from the thrift trip that you just saw me take so Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, before I share the items with you that I purchased, I wanna let you know what was on sale. Everything was on sale except blue. Blue was full price. Green tags and yellow tags were 75% off. 
white tags and red tags were 50% off, so just keep that in mind when I'm showing you these items. The first thing that I'm gonna share with you is a pair of satin pumps. This is a royal blue. This is by a brand called Aubrey Brooks, and these were marked $9.99. Now, I picked these up because if you watched maybe three or four vlogs back, you saw that um, I was telling you all about the Pay Center for Girls here in Jacksonville, if you're here in Jacksonville, about them having a prom dress donation drive. And I told you all I had a dress that I was gonna be donating. Well, my team has also collaborated with me in that effort and they have donated some prom dresses as well. Well, while I was at the thrift store, I saw these and I thought they would be perfect for a young lady to go with, if not one of the dresses that, you know, we're gonna donate, maybe a dress that somebody else is gonna donate and they will go perfectly with these shoes. Y'all, these shoes, whoever donated them, they were never worn or maybe worn once to try on. You can see it's very minimal um, wear right here. But these were $9.99. Again, blue is not on sale, but I thought these were really pretty. I love the embellishment on the toe box right here, but I thought these were really pretty and picked these up, but got these for $9.99 from the thrift store. All right, the second thing that I picked up are these pants. And this is by a brand called Madison. It's from their Curvy line. And I got these because y'all know I love a good pair of wide pants and I love a pair of cream wide leg pants. Now these are too big for me. I knew they were too big when I purchased them and I tried them on just to confirm, yes, they are too big. But I tell you all all the time, don't purchase things, you know, just because it may not fit. You can always have it tailored down to your size, which is what I'm going to do with these. I've had plenty of pants tailored before because I just love them that much. And when you're thrifting them out of the thrift store, it makes it easier to absorb the cost of tailoring because you're not spending that much money for it up front. These were only $4.99, y'all. $4.99. Now, it's probably going to cost me about $15.00 to get them tailored. So the overall $20 investment that I'm gonna make for a pair of pants is nothing compared to what they would cost me retail. And not to mention, these still had the tags on them when I purchased it. As you can see right here, I have ripped the tag off. These have been washed because I wanted to be, them to be clean by the time I took them to the tailor. But for $4.99, a brand new pair of pants perfect for the spring summertime i wasn't going to leave them behind but got these for 4.99 from the thrift store. all right the next thing i picked up is this 100 percent silk maxi skirt y'all this is a skirt by the brand spiegel y'all remember spiegel from back in the day your mom or your grandma um maybe used to get their catalog but it is 100 percent silk and this is a little bit too big it's actually kind of a lot too big now but it was only $7.99 and it was on sale remember i told you red tags were one of the tags that were on sale so i didn't pay the full eight dollars for this but i love it because it has this really pretty pleating at the bottom of the skirt let me come closer so you can see and it is a maxi skirt like i said this is going to be going to the dry cleaners today but y'all, even if it was the full price of $7.99, $8, a 100% silk vintage skirt, Spiegel is a vintage brand. It, it was around when I was in middle school and I ain't, I've been out of middle school a long, long time. But yeah, got this from the thrift store. Now y'all remember that I told you all that I had thrifted a pair of Lululemon um, leggings a few weeks ago. I went back to the thrift store because I wanted some more leggings, specifically ones that had pockets. Y'all know I told y'all I need somewhere to put my keys because the way my mind set up, I'll forget. So on this thrift trip, I did pick up more items to wear to the gym. Let me show them to you now. All right, the first item is this shirt. And it was $3.99. Again, blue was not on sale, but it's just this regular, schmegular top i think this might be a dry fit because it kind of feels like it is it has a weird feel to it like not like regular cotton but um just a plain gray shirt that i got from the thrift store all right next piece of gym wear i picked up are these leggings by the brand fabletics and it just has like this sheer mesh material on the side and these were marked 7.99 and like I said, they're by the brand Fabletics. 
but I like how it has the um, waist that's kind of like a bandeau waistline so it kind of holds you in you know if you want to wear like a waist trainer or something your pants aren't sliding down and they don't roll down but got these fabletic pants for $7.99 from the thrift store all right the next thing I got is just another shirt this was marked $2.99 and this is by a brand called Mortultra. I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation of it, but this is also a dry fit shirt. It's in like this periwinkle color, but just a plain basic shirt that, you know, will be comfortable for you to wear while you're working out in the gym. But got this for $2.99 from the thrift store. All right, next are another pair of leggings by Fabletics. And these were marked... $9.99 they were half off so got these for five dollars and it's just this cute fun camo lime green and gray print um this one has also an inside pocket that i like in addition to the side pockets but it also has like that nice tight weight line but it also has that nice tight waistline you know that will hold you in while you're working out but got these for five dollars white was half off from the thrift store last pair of gym wear is these pair of adidas joggers and these were marked 9.99 blue is not on sale but y'all remember i picked up the gray ones just like this those fit really good y'all i really love how those gray ones fit and those gray ones were a small and they fit perfectly these are a medium i have not tried them on yet because i haven't cleaned them but these are a medium so i'm expecting them to fit you know just as well but 9.99 for a pair of adidas joggers from the thrift store i'll take it all day all right and the last piece of clothing that i picked up is this shirt now this is by shein i typically do not thrift anything from shein from the thrift store because their clothes online are already so cheap but this one I really did like. And what do you call this? A leopard, cheetah, print, whatever. I don't know. But y'all know I love these types of sleeves. But it's just this regular shirt that I got from the thrift store by the brand Shein. Perfect for spring, summer because it is sheer. So it's not too hot. But got this from the thrift store. All right. The last item I picked up is not something you all see me thrift too often, and that is something from the home goods section. I do thrift items from the home goods section. I just don't thrift them enough to, you know, show them to you because it's here, there, and few and far between. But I did pick this up because I absolutely loved it. Let me show you what it is. All right, it is this amber vase by the brand Crosno Poland. Now it was $29.99, so she was a little pricey in the thrift store, but I wish y'all can see how intricately this is made. It is very, very pretty. It is heavy and it is a lot bigger in person than how it's coming up on camera. I love the teardrop opening that it has and then the bottom is the same. Now again, she was $29.99, but when I did the comps on this online, this ranges from $150 to $250 resale. So I can only imagine what this was at the regular retail price if the resale is between $150 and $250. So me paying the $29.99 for it, I didn't mind. I would have paid the $29.99 for it anyway, even if the resale price wasn't what it was because you know, sometimes you just have to recognize quality. And I'm shaking my hand because homegirl is heavy. So I am going to put this down in my family room. And this is going to be my new vase that I use to um, showcase my Sunday flowers. And the only flower that I'm probably going to put in here are roses, tulips, or calla lilies, only because they have a tendency to where they can hang and drape over. And this type of vase will be perfect for that. But this vase y'all it is so heavy but this vase again is by a brand Krosno of Poland and it's this amber vase that I got for $29.99 from the thrift store 
All right, y'all. Well, those are all the items that I picked up on this thrift trip. I hope you enjoyed everything that you saw. Drop down in the comments and let me know what was your favorite. And until next time, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at LuxLiving4 underscore less. And I will see you guys and gals in the next video. Bye, y'all.